Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, K Geek X Tech Chic, and we're back with another reaction to Dr. Stone season one. We're now on to episode four, which is called Fire the Smoke Signal. So the last episode, we had um, our main group of uh, Taiju and Senku who have figured out that, um, oh gosh, what's his name? Uh, Isoka, I think it is. Uh, the names of, sorry, it's been a minute since I've watched, so the names have slipped again. But um, they figured out that he is basically crazy and that he does not intend to resurrect any of the old people. He just wants young people going forward and he kind of wants to force everybody else to kind of follow suit, especially since Senku is the person who's bringing people back. But Senku kind of already saw that something was off with him long before and started to kind of come up with a backup plan. And his backup plan was first not to let him know about how to bring people back because that would be a huge advantage that would protect Senku, at least in the in the interim, while he came up with a better plan. But unfortunately, Taiju, bless, bless his very sweetheart, he went and blurted out all the secrets about the juice. And so now Senku had to come up with a really quick backup plan, which is that he wants to create a weapon that's strong enough to stop Tsukasa so that he can't go through with his plan, or basically, or at least at the, at the very least, will have to respect the boundaries of not stopping Senku and Taiju and all them from doing what they want to do. So we, they uh, headed off to where they believe they can find some gunpowder so they can start to make a weapon. But uh, it turns out that I, I think it's Tsukasa. He's smarter than he looks. He's not just muscle. He actually is brains and he figured out kind of the way that Senku thinks. And so he's hot on their trail and he wants to stop them from being able to get to this thing so they can create this weapon. So basically he can force them to do things the way he wants them to do it. So it is a race against time and against wits. And I'm I'm very excited to see where things are going to go and who's going to win this particular battle. I'm ready to jump into the episode. But before I do, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I do reactions to animes like this as well as a lot of other shows. So if you're interested in watching me travel this journey or watch others, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And if you like this video, please show some love to that like button as well. I appreciate it so, so much. All right, that out of the way, guys, let's get into the episode right about now. <laughs> <laughs> you okay with there, bro? He didn't want to do the hot springs, huh? Yeah, can we, can we get to it? She's waited a whole 3,000 years. I mean, that kind of does make it a bit anticlimactic, but... What? What? No, actually, no. If you can't tell me right now, I ain't gonna care. And watch. I hope another guy actually beats you to it and says the ILU to her and they fall in love and you sit there still looking dumb. Talk about we gotta bring back society first. These are your feelings, bro. You don't even know if you're gonna survive tomorrow. There's literally a crazy ape man trying to hunt you down right now. You talk about, let's bring back civilization before it. You have to cook? That's sick, who's kitchen? <laughs> Most people are making casseroles or lovely fish dishes. He's like, explosives. That's what I make in my kitchen. That's what I'm saying. You don't actually have that kind of time. Oh, thank God. I was about to say, how fastly can we mix this? And also, is it volatile? Because again, we don't want to be rushing. Hey, he's smart some of the time. What's up, Mega Senku? Oh my god. <laughs> it is so bad that they have to be like, by the way, children, don't do this at home and don't bring it to school. But I like the fact that it's like, we're not going to give you fake science. Metal. Look at all this science we're learning right now. For those of you who didn't pay attention in chemistry. Yeah, maybe y'all should have run away before you did that or found a remote way to set that off. Oh, and now he knows exactly where you are. Can you cover up the smoke? Okay. If we have to. Sure about that? He was crushing heads like it was any old thing. Oh, 
I was about to say, that's assuming he wants to negotiate. Use it. Interesting. You need Senku though. You you need Senku bad. Exactly. Exactly. Especially now that you've given him a big black smoke signal. Nope. Make a uh, make a, a glider and jump off this mountain and go. It is. Who else is here? And are they children too? And do they already have weapons? I mean, he's oh, he's after you already. The thing is. Your gut's often a lot smarter than your head, because your head is going to be skewed by a lot of other things, but your gut, your intuition, is actually right 90% of the time. People don't realize that your logic is really just there to keep you from repeating like past mistakes and to do general protection, but your gut will actually do far more for you than your logical mind ever will. What do you mean you're running out of gunpowder? How much did you use? Aren't you though, Psycho? Of course he just casually knows this. What kind of high schoolers are these? Hmm. Right? Oh, uh, who's gonna tell him that he's gonna grow up one day and that these same things happen anyways? You're just gonna keep taking people out, huh? Damn. He compared you to an American. No, why would I do that? Why would I do that if I'm gonna die? No. Well, that hair was long anyway. Why would he ever think she'd be taken hostage, you weirdo? Oh my god, anyway. Just give him the wrong recipe. By the time he figures it out, you can think of something else. So then what does it matter if we revolve the, revive the adults then? Mm -hmm. That's right. Stand up for yourself, sis. That's right. That's right. You think you're such a badass? Exactly. Logical thinker. Yeah, she's like, girl, it's okay. I'm gonna sleep a long ass time. I don't know if it was for you, sweetie, so much as it was for Taiju. He'd never forgive him. Yeah, because we're not cave people! No! I will not do that. Go back to your cave. Never. 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 Thank you. <laughs> He's like tomorrow, actually. I've got plans. That's right. You think is, you know, that's the one thing you can never stop at a person. A curious mind is unstoppable. You can't do that. You can't be like, can you promise to not make your brain work for the rest of your life? Not gonna happen. Okay, is this your daddy? Looks your grandpappy, though. Aww. Yeah, I know. Don't give it up. Don't give it up. <laughs> Not the glass shield. <laughs> this old man's like, I'm getting worried. It was cute. And now I'm a little scared. He's going to burn down the neighborhood. <laughs> the little man in the background. <laughs> Best part. I love how he just runs into a fight to get hit. Taiju, sir. Revenge, baby! Get get blasted. Get scienced. Oh. 
ジャイロってやつくださいあ、oh, you see why now he values Taiju so much but I like this I like understanding and I, I'm glad that they're showing this too because true scientific minds just never stop like they, they can't just stop that's just the way their brains operate The way he called it the same. <laughs> Boy, you really have got to get your cardio up, man. This is a whole new world. Ain't no scooters and escalators to get you around now. You're gonna have to get them, get them card, get them calves toned. Uh, I'm pretty sure you need permission to send projectiles like into airspace. Oh, they're floating around somewhere. Cute. Exactly. Exactly. Can't lie to you. How did you? Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't have even proposed it if it wasn't something you were thinking about. Oh. Thank you for thinking it through. Oh my god, I thought you said you were gonna do this! Let's go! Nothing would have changed, you would have hated me. Probably not, though. Why are you yelling? Well, that was fast. And they end the episode there? Well, obviously, I'm not that worried because he is the actual lead of the show. So we know that he obviously doesn't die like this. But very interesting. I always think it's funny when you see people who use that excuse of, I don't want to have to do this, but you're going to make me when it comes to violence or violent acts. Those are abuser words. <laughs> That's what happens with people who want to justify things that they know are wrong. They try to push it onto other people. And, you know, I guess in a very pure, very altruistic, I want the world to be a better place, based on what I believe, Sukasa, what he's proposing is a quote unquote necessary evil. Kind of reminds me if you saw Wakanda Forever, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, this was what Namur's whole idea behind why he wanted to take out Riri was because he was like, well, she's got the knowledge that'll eventually expose all of us and, and create danger and change the world for, in a way that I think will be too dangerous. So I have to take her out, therefore take out the knowledge and then I can keep the world the way I think it's supposed to be. But that's not the way it works. Like, Riri is one of millions of people. Senku, yes, of course, he is the only person that uh, Sukasa knows is a genius. But as we saw in this episode, he wasn't the only one who woke up. There's others who've woken up as well. And many of them from the looks of things. And believe it or not, I'm um, sorry, uh, Senku is not the only genius. And that's one thing you can never stop when it comes to humanity. You can never stop imagination. It's literally the fuel that keeps us going. And Sukasa is asking human imagination to just stop and stay in the stone age because he thinks that's what be the, the answer would be. But the one thing you can never stop is progress. Progress will always happen. Things will always move forward. Time marches on. It stops for no one. Even though these people were petrified for 3,700 years, time passed, right? Time did pass even if they didn't. So yeah, he's going to figure that out the hard way. But I really like that, you know, it would have been very easy, not easy, I, I, seemingly easy for Senku to say, you know what, go ahead, kill the girl. I'm not good. I'm going to take this secret with me, you know, whatever. But it's, it's what Sukasa said, like Senku, his one Achilles heel is that he does care about the people he cares about. And we know that Taiju is like his best friend, like basically his soulmate. He'll never admit it, but that's clearly how deeply it goes. And I like that they took us in the flashbacks this episode to show their connection and how Taiju's just always been this ride or die, unjudgmental, unapologetic friend that's helped and supported him. So when you are someone who is a bit of an outcast, which Senku clearly was, being as mentally advanced as he was, people who love you and support you for who you are are gonna mean way more to you than anything else. So he knew that there's no way that Taiji would ever get over losing Yurza, especially if there was something that could have been done. So yeah, he's showing this is why he is a hero despite his seemingly cold and judgmental demeanor. Uh, I don't know if it necessarily at this point says that Sukasa is a villain. Uh, I do like that they pointed out that uh, Senku said like Sukasa is not a mindless killer. Like he's not just doing this for no reason. He really is just targeting adults because he genuinely believes 
they're the source of the problem. And they are part of the problem, but again, he's not looking at the bigger picture because he himself, I think these kids are supposed to be like around 17, 18 years old. He doesn't realize that all these kids he's reviving, they will be, they will be children that were raised by the same parents that you're eliminating and grandparents that, that you're eliminating. Those mindsets, those belief systems, they're still gonna be there. Make a long story short, Sukasa's not thinking in the long term. He's very much thinking that he's gonna bully his way through to a new future, but he's gonna learn one way or another that he's one voice and yeah, he's this powerful, powerful ass mofo, but he's one man. And if he's powerful like that, just like there's other people who are smart like Senku, I promise you there's another bad mamma jamma out there who's gonna be able to put him in his place. There's always someone stronger. So anyway, good episode, interesting ending. Gonna have to jump into the next episode to find out what happens next. And I'm very much looking forward to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode along with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.